Today, let's do scallops anatomy. First of all, scallops are mollusca, such as snails, squid, octopus, conch, clams, etc. They are soft-bodied animal. Many of them have calcary shells to protect their soft bodies. Species with two hard shells are called bivalvia, such as clams, oysters, and scallops. Scallops look similar to other bivalvia. However, they are unique because they have many differences in lifestyle and body structure from other bivalvia. Let's focus on the these characteristics of the scallops. First, if you look at the shell, underside is a little bit more concave and whiter than the top. And surprisingly, the spots that you see on the edges of the shell are all scallops' eyes. Unlike other bivalvia that don't have eyes, Scallops have about 200 eyes on the edge of the mantle. If you zoom on the scallops' eyes with a microscope, you can see this image. Scallops have very unique eyes. Scallops' eyes are not shaped like human eyes, but rather have tissue that acts as a mirror on the inner surface of the eye, and its retina is located in the center of the eye so that light reflects and gathers into the retina. Scallops' eyes have the same structure as space telescopes, so they are very effective in securing underwater vision. Thanks to its eyes, scallops can check whether predators are coming, and then ran away. Being able to swim is a unique feature of scallops. The scallops swim repeatedly, opening and closing the shell like costanets. When the shell closes, they shoot water through the gap behind the shell, gaining momentum. Chum. But swimming takes a lot of energy, so if they want to swim, they have to stay still for a few hours. To figure out how the shell closes, you have to look inside the scallops. If you cut off the part that holds the two shells, it opens in half like this. This part attached to the shell is the mantle. This is the muscle part of bivalvia called the adductor muscle. Adductor muscle of this bivalvia is firmly attached to both shells. Scallops can open and close the shell by contracting and relaxing this muscle. You can see the contraction and relaxation. Scallops are much loved as foods cause its adductor muscles are well developed. And the body structure of the bivalvia is different according to their habitat. So, I prepared Bavalvia creature, who has a different lifestyle from scallops. This clam lives by burying itself in the soil. Something's out from the shell of a clam, right? This is the foot of a clam. They use its foot to dig into the soil, and then stick out a straw-like siphon. They create a flow of water through siphon into the body, breathing and eating. But scallops don't dig themselves into the soil, instead, they just live on the floor. So scallops have very small foot and also have no siphon. If they don't hide in the soil, they are at greater risk of being eaten by predator. But scallops have the ability to run away. And something that is around the scallops adductor muscle is gills. It's on the other side too. Gills are used for breathing and feeding. Scallops use gills to filter food from the water, including plankton and organic matter. If you remove the gills, what you see is the scallops gonads. If it's red, it's the female gonads, and the male has white ones like this. There are scallops put under their gonads, and they have mouth right here, and the digestive organs are located behind the mouth. Digestive glands, esophagus, stomach, and intestines are all in this area. Scallops intestine leads to the side of the adductor muscle, where the scallops anus is located at the end. Right here. Isn't it amazing? This is the end of today's scallops anatomy. Now, cut the scallops adductor muscles and cook well in boiling water. I gave it to Sebastian. He doesn't seem like scallops. If you enjoyed watching, please subscribe.